It's wet, it's muddy, it's uh, it's hot, it's humid, but it's gratifying you, when you see the community come together. And if they're out here, they're getting their boots wet, you know, they're getting muddy, they're getting sweaty. I'm gonna do the same thing. Hurricane Fiona happened on Sunday, and once it started, Fiona was moving so slow, there was a lot of rain. There was problem with rivers and problem with all the water going out. So a lot of people lost their roofs, lost their houses, and got flooded. So they lost everything. By Monday, I was already in contact with Ricky and Samaritan Spurs, and they were already trying to see how was everything on the ground. They were trying to do assessments, and then the first team arrived on Wednesday. Samaritan Spurs will go anywhere. They will go to those hard to reach areas. Even in a war zone, in a hurricane, in an earthquake, they will be the first ones on the ground to help respond to that need and to share the gospel. Oh, you're on your way, but you're not on your way with the system. No, I'm, I'm ahead of the system because I still got to get with the mayor. I still got to get, you know, rally all the troops. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah. In 1996, I joined the Marine Corps. I spent eight years in the Marine Corps. And in the Marine Corps, we have these three words, honor, courage, and commitment. When I turned to Christ, I noticed that those three words rang true in the gospel. If I can do things for a general, for a man, and I was willing to give up my life for orders by men, I could do it for the Lord. All right, so I'm in, I'm in route to the site with the uh, director of emergency management. I'm following him. With Fiona, with the flooding and everything else, there were 35 inches of water. When you have 35 inches of water, things break in the ground, right? You get mudslides, pipes break. have a duty, not only for my island and my people, but I have a divine duty. I carry a cross in my shirt, Samaritan's Purse. It submits itself to Jesus Christ, to our Lord and Savior, that when we walk, we walk with a cross because we have a testimony, and it's a testimony that carries through, through our work and through our way of life. So right now what we're doing is setting up the fresh spring water system. So people start coming out and they start wanting to help because they see we're helping the community. See, people came, people came and they're, they're lending us lights so we can work. They're really enthused that uh, we're here and we'll stay here until the system is done and giving us that good, clean drinking water. We know that 60% of all diseases can be prevented with good, clean drinking water. We're bringing physical water but we're also bringing the everlasting water. So when I come to people, I say like, I come here, I'm gonna put up a system that's gonna clean your body and you'll be able to quench your thirst, physical thirst. But I also come with this, that never ending water that renews your soul and that once you drink from it, you will need no more. <laughs> 